Hey, welcome back. I want to do something a little bit different with your Elementor off canvas menu. You know, when you click a button and the menu slides in from the left, the right, top or the bottom. What if we want to do something whereby we have like a menu, but when you click an item on the menu, rather than a drop down appearing, because you might have tons of drop downs and eventually the menu is going to like go really big and it looks ridiculous in an off canvas menu. But what if you had like menu items and you click on it and below, somewhere down here, um, sub items, sub menus open up for you now to select other items, but the menu stays in place. So the sub items, they're not opening up here, they're opening up down here. It will make sense in a moment what I mean, and this is dead, dead simple to use. We're going to do it with Elementor tabs, okay? Or you could use accordion or whatever you want to do, but Elementor tabs is probably the easiest one to do. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, uh, share and follow. Okay, these symbols mean nothing, but hey, I hope you do because we love having you. So we're going to go to my templates and I'm going to click, click, I'm going to click add new. And I'm just going to create a section and I'm going to call it menu, just call it menu tab, all right? Menu tab, Rawr, stop being crazy, right. This is going to be a really, really simple section. I'm not going to use any of the templates or blocks they give us. I'm just, it's just a menu tab we're creating here, okay? So I'm now gonna go over and I'm gonna type in tab. There we go, and we're gonna drop it in. Okay, don't worry about the fact you can see the head, the head of the footer or the page title or the section title. Don't worry about any of that. We've got tab one and we have tab two. I'm gonna make this into a vertical. So I'm now just gonna modify the contents. I'm gonna call it home and I'm gonna have nothing in the tabs because home is home. Tab two we'll call uh, services and we'll just put in a uh, service one. How about service two? And we'll go with service three, like that. And we'll do another tab, and this one could be, um, we could call it about, and it could be, um, we could go with like background, you could go with experience. You know, you could have whatever tabs you want. You could even have another tab, which is like shop as well. And the shop one, you could have like shoes, hats, skirts, trousers, you know, you, you, you could start to think about your layout. Obviously, don't go too crazy because then you're still going to have a scrolling effect. Yeah, we're just going to hit update on that. Now, what you would obviously have here at this bit is for every single one of these, you're going to hyperlink them to somewhere. So you might say, whoops, uh, you might say, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Go back over here. Go to services, go to service one. You're going to hyperlink it and you might say, okay, this is going to go to, um, I'm just going to pick, I'm just going to pick electric store, electric, there you go. This has nothing to do with services, but I'm just showing you, you would obviously link it to where you want it to go and stuff like that. And then I would say just, you know, um, it's not a bad tip actually to re-highlight everything and put them back to be the color you want them to be. This is going to be black, by the way. But let's just go to styling. Okay, the active color will be black. Uh, sorry, the, the normal color will be black and the active color will be just a slight gray color. Uh, we're going to go to the typography. We'll do a Roboto. Uh, we'll do Roboto. Let me just scroll down there. We'll do Roboto 1.2 for the REM and we'll do a 400 weight. Whatever you pick here, make sure you replicate it for the um, for the um, for the content that sits in your tab. So 1.2, 400 again. All right. Okay, look, you know. Play around with it, go with what works for you and what you like. Let's just update that. Let's just make sure we have zero tab, zero for the border width, because I don't want to see any border width. And for the navigation, I'm going to just go for about, roughly about 15, something like that. You play around with it where you want. That it doesn't matter at the moment too much, because we're actually going to get the content to sit below the tab. Because I don't want it to sit to the right of the tab. It defeats what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm going to make it sit below. And th this is how we do it with a simple bit of CSS code. It's the Elemental tab content, Elemental clear fix. I don't quite understand the clear fix bit. But what we're saying is the contents now are going to sit 230 um, uh, from the top pixels and then 163 pixels to the left. You can mess around with this value, obviously. Look, if I do 16, it's over there. If I put 163, it's kind of in line. If I change that to be 20, you can see that etc. there. If I do 30 there, the etc. I just dumped into the home one just so I could double check everything was all right. But look, home, let me just go back over here. Let me go to content, right? Let me just get rid of the etc. in home so it doesn't confuse you. But home, services, about, and shop. 
So we might decide we want to change the layout of that, maybe uh, have it slightly different uh, in terms of its appearance. And the idea is, is that is when you start to hover over any of these, it, you click it and it will take you then to another page or another link. But this is basically a tab where the content is now sitting below with this pretty simple bit of CSS code here, really. Um, it's it's doing what it needs to do and you could even add in a bit more spacing if you want so you might want to make it 250 so it's a little bit more separated from the top in effect that's that dead, dead, dead simple to do so let's just update that now we have our template we can go over here pick up our template code and then what we're going to do is create a pop-up dead, dead simple you know you go to your templates you say you're gonna do a pop-up template we're going to call it, uh, we will call it, uh, we'll call it pop tab. I have weird names whenever I'm doing these um, experiments and stuff like this. Right. So we're going to go over here and we're now going to, we're not going to use a template. We're going to create from one from scratch. We're just going to pick one um, section. It's going to be, um, it'll be a box and we'll make it about 400. 400, yeah, we'll go with the 400. There'll be no gap, and the height for this, the minimum height, will be a VH100. VH100 means the full width of the full height of the screen, sorry. Okay, and we'll position it to be, you could position it at the top, position it in the middle, you know, in terms of your layout, I'll let you play around. I mean, I would actually probably say best go for the top. And in your advance, give it a bit of padding from the top. You know, let's go for about 50 from the top. So it's not completely at the top, okay? Um, and in terms of the um, the horizontal alignment, when we get to the column, we will make this be a start. So it's kind of at the start. Now, what you might want to do, though, is start to mess up your, mess up, do your pop-up settings. But let's just get our short code template in. Okay, so this is the template we've just created. So we're going to take our short code. I mean, in effect, you could have done this without doing the short code, right? We could have just picked up the entirety of that tab we just created and dump it into there. But um, um, in fact, yeah, why don't we just do that? Let's just pick it up. Let's forget the short code. No short codes here, mate. Okay, so let's just pick up uh, this. Uh, there you go. Let's just pick that up, the tab. Okay, and we're just going to now paste it into here. So what we will now get is this effect. But now you can see that we're now going to have to just modify the, the, the sizing. So let's just do the pop-up settings first, okay? And then we'll mess around with how it looks. If we now go to the actual pop-up setting, which is where you click the cog down here, okay, for the settings, we're going to say the width of this is going to be uh, 500. Or did I say 400? How much did I make it? Yeah, I made it 400, right? So there's our width for that. Uh, it's going to be right aligned uh, and it will be in the center. We, okay, we'll have an overlay. We'll have a close button and the entrance will be fading from the right, fading from the right, and it's going to leave from the right as well. So fade in from the right and then go out from the right as well again. Okay, and we're going to make it a little bit quicker. I find 1.2 is a bit slow, 1.7, I think. 1.75 is better. We're going to go to the style and we're not going to mess around anymore with that. Now, let's just mess around with our CSS code. Let's go back into it, advanced, go to our CSS code. And I'm now just going to basically put this to be a zero just so I can see where it currently is. So there it is. Two, minus 52. There we go. So now we've got our content going on there. The trouble is, though, is that this now is not very wide. But that's because if you go to your style, we had our navigation width. So let's just make that wider, go back to our CSS. There is a little bit of experimentation here, okay? But the effect of this is so, so good. There we go, one, two, one. So I got 250 pixels from the top and minus one, two, one. Remember this code you could use in your tabs. It doesn't have to be within this pop-up, but it could be for generally anything. Okay, um, the last thing I'm gonna do, you know, I'm just showing you how this operates. Let's just go to the style, um, sorry, the pop-up settings. Go to the style. Let's just make our close button a little bit bigger and obviously, you know, change your color and everything like that. And with regards to the advanced, I'm going to say prevent closing on overlay. Well, no, prevent closing on overlay. Yeah, yeah, prevent closing on overlay. Disable page scrolling and avoid multiple pop ups. We'll just um, uh, save and close that. I'm not going to add any conditions in, by the way. I'm just going to hit next, 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 save and close. No need to do any of that. 
One thing I don't like though is this scroll bar. Can you see this over here? So I'm just going to go back to my section, go back to layout. Um, sorry, pop up settings. And I'm just going to say custom VH, make it 100. A lot of people hit fit to screen and all of that, but what you will then get is you still get that scroll bar. Don't worry about it, you're seeing it there at the moment. That will disappear, okay? It's only showing that that as that as we work on it at the moment. But at the moment, there will be no scroll bar and we'll be all right. So save and close that. So let's go to our home page here at the moment. Let me just get rid of this here. So this is me experimenting. We're gonna to go to our icon, which is just a bars icon. I've rotated it a little bit. By the way, if you want to rotate it, just go to style and you have your rotate option there. We'll go to content. I'm going to click the dynamic tag and I'm going to scroll down and select pop up. You click the wrench or the spanner and I'm now going to type in here. If I type pop, it's going to bring up all of them, but I know it was pop tab. So I could have typed pop tab or brought it up and I click update on that. So let's now just preview the changes for that page. OK, so we have our page. OK, nice and funky. And then we click that and we get our menu off canvas pop up. I've got home services about shop. I'm going to click shop. Look at that. These items, services. I mean, look, I mean, OK, I've got to modify the pixel axes there just a little bit. I think I need about one more. One more, maybe. Actually, it might be OK. But no, but you could have now like it's like a drop down, but it's not a drop down. And that is just with a little bit of CSS code to do this. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope this is going to be really useful if you just want to do something a little bit different. Hey, take care and I'll see you soon.